all that good fun. Let's get into the game. God, pre rendered cutscenes just don't look good. Uh, though, for the most part, this doesn't look too bad. Ooh. I feel like I might need to change the aspect ratio. Yeah, it's on 16 by 9. It's just a... Uh... Has now eliminated a record 13 contestants in the regular season. <laughs> Incoming call from the mayor of Metropolis. The <clears throat> mayor of Metropolis. Oh, you mean. Right. Uh, just a sec. Uh, greetings, Mayor. I... No, no, no. Um, well, long time no see. Uh, no. Uh, so, Metropolis still in one piece, huh? <laughs> uh, <laughs> greetings, Captain. I see you're taking good care of my old ship. Well, she needs a lot of tuning up, but I've kept her running. <laughs> of course. <laughs> anyway, I'm afraid I bring bad news. As you know, Captain Starshield disappeared over a month ago. I've just been informed that he's been killed. Oh my gosh. No. Oh, what happened? Apparently, he was involved with some kind of illegal combat sport. Something called Dread Zone. We believe it was being run by this man, Gleeman Vox. Gleeman Vox is actually a really good um, antagonist. His boss battle. Mm -hmm. But. I, I, I like him as a, as a character just to hate, you know? Gamer boy, what's up, my man? Finally starting the Ratchet Deadlock miniseries. Are you the Lombax known as Ratchet? Um, I don't suppose you guys are here to fix the starboard engine, huh? No. Compiling shaders, good, 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 good. Actually, yeah, that looks a lot better than how I originally played it. There would be all kind of graphical issues and um, stuttering. God, God, I love this game. I didn't have a lot of games for the PS2. Uh, and I... Ooh. Bring him in. Okay. Yes, sir. We'll have an audiobook. Give him collars. And see if you can get some work out of them first. It actually does not look that bad on the live stream, actually. Just mostly because of the smaller screen, because I'm looking at this at, you know, 43 inch TV. Hello? Hello in there? Can you hear me? You've been unconscious for hours. You're probably a little disoriented. Uh, how many fingers am I holding up? Whoops. Uh, looks like we've got a feedback. Oh, looks like Gamer Boy left. Processor. Hold still a Sadness. Second. How's that? Okay, now to activate Come back. your speech function. Me out of this thing, you blarg-headed frack monkey! I can barely breathe and my tail feels like it's shoved right up my... I, 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 there seems to be a problem with the speech circuitry. I, 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 I'll, I'll take a look at it later. Now hold still. Oh, sweet. Let's cool. I guess it just doesn't count me for a reason. Because I'm watching the stream through, uh, through the my laptop. Armor you're wearing is standard issue for new contestants. I love the armor. The armor looked later. dope, man. Just the basic, the yo, ergonomics and design, like the edges and everything. I thought it looked awesome. Terminated. We must calibrate your battle suit's targeting matrix. First, look over at the hollow target on your left. Oh, yeah, here's a graphic. They look at his teeth. Oh. Welcome <laughs> to Dread Zone. Rest <laughs> assured, so you are now far beyond the reach of hope. Uh, there will be no rescues. And no that should just be because of upscaling. No of you are now a contestant on the greatest television program the galaxy has ever known. A uh, they look way more evil like this now. For the pleasure of a billion screaming fans across the shadow sector and beyond. Chances are you'll be dead by tomorrow. 
But those of you who play the game with skill and strategy will earn a chance to win your freedom. So, good luck, hero. Oof. We'll be watching you. <laughs> Some uh, model stutter in there. That's interesting. Okay. Ratchet, I have figured out a way to get information to you without Vox knowing. Pay attention to secret messages at the bottom of your screen. At the top of your screen is the experience bar. As you destroy enemies, you gain experience. When the bar is full, you will gain a level, and your nanotech will increase. That was actually a really cool thing, too, and, I, and I'm pretty sure um, most Ratchet games are like this, being able to level up your weapons. I really enjoyed that. Made play, uh, replayability amazing with this game, which I have always wanted to max out all my weapons. It just... I mean, it's ridiculous to say. Okay. But they will... Note the deadlock collar securely fastened around your neck. This collar cannot be broken or removed. Oh, uh, fuck it. Should you go. stray into any restricted area, the collar will administer an extremely painful shock. Observe. I hate this job. Wow, the, the glossy light texture on the, and the robots are awesome. Become uncooperative or worse, Looks really good. Boring. His or her collar can be detonated at any time with the push of a button. Well, there you have it. Right. Nothing to lose your head over. <laughs> right? Honestly, throughout the streams and, of course, the miniseries, um, there are probably going to be times when I shut down and restart um, the magic box and everything. Because basically every time you do that and you play more and you play more and you play more, the better it will run. I love these things. They're so good. Is your blog's gone wild video scratched from overuse? So good. It's time to turn that dial to something a little more dangerous. Time for some real action. It's time to blow it up! That's right, it's time for Dread Zone, the galaxy's number one uncensored, unethical, and completely underground combat sport. Blasting straight at you, live from the Battle Dome. Battle Dome. And now, on pay-per-view, watch as Ratchet and Clank take on Ace Hardlight and the Exterminators. They save the galaxy three times over, but how long can they survive in the zone? Catch it live, right here, on Vox. I love how they called it Vox. Yo, oh, this evil... TV network. I wonder if they kind of did that on purpose. They probably did. Oh, that's a frame rate drop. That looks bad. Ratchet? Yeah, I never heard of him. Well, he's probably just Ooh. intermission material, folks. But don't worry, we have great models are kind of. Yep, they're jittery. <laughs> and of course, audio well, issues. Is. <laughs> he's a little guy, isn't he? Well, don't bother getting up for drinks, folks. This guy won't last two rounds. We'll see. Uh, oh. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> the Red Zone fans, this oh. is it. Let's introduce our first contestant. He's a Lombax. He spent time in prison. He hates candy and joy. Yeah. Let's hear it for Ratchet and Team Frame Star. rate is down. Oh. Not a uh, best. Okay, come on. the down directional button to initiate the auto repair sequence. You can do this anytime a bot becomes too damaged to continue. Ronnie is up an FPS counter for me to see. To make your bots regroup to your position. Which, that shouldn't be too hard to manage. Ooh. Wow. Wow, frame rate is bad. Oh, this is bad. I 
I definitely want to keep the resolution. But yet again, it's going to get better as the more I play. Excellent work, okay. Ratchet. Now that you nice. have survived the qualification cords, you will be allowed to join us back at our containment area. Let's keep this quick, Vox. Oh, well, I love these cutscenes. The superstar exterminator from his busy social schedule. I just have one question for you. Okay, shoot. Would you like to buy an Ace Hard Life video game? How about an Ace Hard Life lunchbox? Action figures, movie rights, collectible trading cards? Ace Hard Life is the perfectly manufactured celebrity, straight from the presses of the Gleeman Vox Media Empire. So tell me, why is it that I can't give this stuff away? Well, uh... Don't answer that. Let me take a while. Yes. It's because my fans can't stand Ace Hard Life! He's a pompous... With the charisma of bloggy and Nazis! So, what do you say, exactly? Sip it, Wonder Boy! The little billies and Susies of the world are spending a trillion volts a day on worthless swag! And I'm completely cut out of the market! Either you start selling this junk, or I'll find someone who will! Now get out of my sight! That's it, I really like that... <laughs> That box Ratchet, just. You need to choose where you are going to compete next. Thank you, Flink. Um, that box just motivated by money. Like, I mean, it's a very simple premise, but it's it's not that crazy that you know he's kidnapping these people to fight in an arena, to fight in a you know in a made up sport kind of thing against their will for their lives. It's it's really cool. I like it. Catacrom for Juanita as we kick off a brand new season of Dread Zone. <laughs> That's right, Dallas. And we're that was a Juanita. A lot of people hated them, but I actually did like them. Even from up here, you know, they were interesting. Battle courses look bigger and Ooh, he's translucent. Than ever. Oh, because it's he's a, a slug. It's a wonder contestants keep volunteering, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <sighs> oh, yeah. The Vox construction team really outdid themselves in turning this once sacred robotic burial ground into a deadly Dread Zone battle core. And look, here comes today's first contestant. Oh my, they're really scraping the bottom of the barrel to find these guys, aren't they? Oof. I hope you folks at home aren't too squeamish. It's well as it's much as I complain about how everything here. looks and how I'm having issues. Ratchet's first objective For as long as I've been messing with the you know, messing with magic boxes, is the this is probably the best I could ask for. For how early the this yo, know, like how early and young the, the magic box is and everything else. Command your bot to toss out an EMP by yes, pressing I, the left directional button. I know, I got this. Just let me let me play. Thank you. And all the weapons are pretty cool too. Interesting fact, folks. Dread Zone started out with two guys fighting over a breakfast burrito, and the rest is history. Yeah, now they look like their little things like that will get old very quickly. <laughs> but hey, no biggie. Boing. Yeah. Turned a bronze trophy. I like it. Defeating enemies automatically. Yep, yep, yep. As Team Dark Star continues toward the Catacrom Burial Dome, Ooh, they'll need to cross what I like to call the job. chasm of endless falling and eventual dying. In the unlikely event that they survive, they'll take control of the big, bad, and burly walking armored tank I called probably the need going in uh, just some settings. Kids. So hopefully next right. stream things will be all three nodes a little extend. better. Okay, come on. Come on. Wow. Any more uh, grinding? Okay. Fuck, I might have to. I don't want to, but I might have to. 
match it. You can expand your map at any time to get a better view of the area. I say I have better hardware. I just have to, uh, yeah, I probably just have to build that shader cache again. Because I don't have all the shader cache power, which sucks. Fuck you, Clay. Remember, you can always manually equip the swing shot from the quick select menu. Are you using the wrong button here? Yeah, it was. Okay, that's my fault. Oh, what? What is happening? That's a little crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Darkstar is not out for a Sunday drive today, folks. They'll be blazing a trail right into the center of the Catacomb Burial Dome. Ratchet, you will have to use the Landstalker's mortars to destroy those Quasar orbs. That should clear the way. Frame rate's really bad. Oh my gosh. This is, uh... Someone in Eddie could just kind of do some turbo for the these sections, that'd be great. Hmm. Turbo. What? Too fast? For real? Uh, never get to use the turbo button. Probably nothing because they don't give a fuck. So yeah, the issue is draw distance. It isn't um like polygons or anything like that. It's just draw distance. Anybody else? Anybody? Anybody at all? Alright. <laughs> Ratchet, you must defeat all your opponents in order to complete this challenge. In other words, stay alive. Yeah, here they come. God, it reminds me back in the day of Yu-Gi-Oh. Like we don't, we didn't know how to play. We were just throwing cards on the table. That's right, kids. Exterminator trading cards are here. 
There's Reactor, Shell Shock, the Eviscerator, and your favorite exterminator, Ace Hardlight. Collect them all and exterminate your friends today. Yeah, that guy is still looking pretty good on the on life from his own. I can't wait till this fucking quarantine's over. I can grow my beard again. I had a beautiful beard going, man. That's my beard. Name him, name him Bubba Welcome the Beard. Welcome back, Dread Zone fans. Have we got a show for you? Oh, On today's episode, Team oh, Darkstar has been dropped onto too. the hellish alien world of Serapos. Their ultimate goal, destroy a monstrous alien creature known as the King Leviathan. And take it from me, people, monstrous is putting it nicely. Ratchet, there is a con... Max out ammo. Oh, the Hunter Mine Launcher. I love that the gun. Arena up ahead. Oh. That is your first objective. Be careful. The outside is heavily guarded. I had a bad feeling about this. These little spiders cooking bugs. There we go. Getting some better frame right here. I, I, I do like when you max out your health. It doesn't do a stupid animation. You can order a bot to hack into one of those four blocks. Yep. Come on. Let me skip through this. This could be nothing. It's nothing. He's getting out. Wow, that was a close one. One false move, and those alien suckers will be eating your head for lunch. Mmm. My mother used to serve Lomax brains for breakfast with eggs and salsa. Muy bueno. Yikes. Remind me never to eat at your house. I feel like it's starting to smooth out a little bit now. It's starting to catch up. I fucked up for a second. Start this stream. In order to advance to the Leviathan Lair, Team Darkstar must right, capture three yeah, I'll control up nodes. This planet, and then we will cut it a little bit short, and hopefully, not short, but we'll cut, we'll, you know, we'll call it in for the night. Ooh. Now, this is actually working really well, so... I mean, really fucking well, dude. Working much better than it has any right to work. Alright, so I'm gonna hit the no 
good for me, please. Team Dark Star only needs to capture two more nodes. Oh, there's the slowdown. There it is. Boing. Sir, in my short time in the core, I've seen some ugly places, but this one takes the cake. Oh, that was pretty good. He's completed the third stage. Tell him what he's won. All right. what he what the hell he is won an all expense paid trip to the Leviathan's Woo! Lair, where he will enjoy golf, tennis, fine dining, and a. Alright. We are this. now in the final moments before the epic showdown with the King Leviathan. Team Darkstar must hack all the orbs to wake up that big fella. Happy hunting. Mmm. I am breathless with anticipation. Sure you're not just breathless because you get to sit up here next to me? No, but that does explain why I'm feeling nauseous. Up his ass. There we go. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. We here at NSKE are so proud of the content we make and hope that you, the viewer, enjoyed every second of it. So go ahead, hit that bell, click subscribe, and of course, join us for the next video. Thank you so much. I'm out.